Culture and Commitment, a Study of the Generation Gap, written by the renowned anthropologist Margaret Mead in 1970, provides an insightful exploration of the generational divides and their effects on the continuity and adaptation of culture. The book delves into the transformation of societies, primarily focusing on the shifts observed in American culture, and presents an understanding of how young people interact with and shape the cultural paradigms of their time. Mead considers the generational gap as an opportunity for cultural evolution rather than a problem to be solved. Mead starts by framing the generation gap within the historical context, asserting that each society has mechanisms to transfer knowledge and cultural values from one generation to the next. The traditional approach has been for the old to teach the young, based on the premise that elders held the wisdom necessary for the community's survival. Data was transmitted from the past into the future, with minimal changes over time. This pattern is described as a post-figurative culture, where children learn primarily from their ancestors, and the past directs the future. However, as societies become more complex and rapidly changing, Mead introduces the concept of cofigurative cultures. In these settings, not only are the lessons from the past still relevant, but peers also substantially influence each other. Instead of looking exclusively to their elders, individuals engage with contemporaries to navigate new social norms and technologies that are not part of the older generation's experience. This transition is a response to the continuously transforming world where the past alone cannot equip the younger generation with all the requisite tools for survival. Mead explains that in the modern era, we are moving towards a prefigurative culture. This notion signifies an unprecedented shift where the younger generation leads cultural learning. They are no longer looking primarily to their elders for guidance. Instead, the youth are adapting to changes that are incomprehensible to older individuals. Here, children have to educate their elders about the emerging facets of society. Mead's analysis extends to the intricacies of technological advancement and the subsequent behavioral changes. Speedy innovation, particularly in communication and transportation technologies, has created a world where information transcends boundaries at an unprecedented rate. This new arena is primarily navigated by the youth, who adapt readily to technological changes and develop skills that older generations often find challenging to acquire. The author expresses concern about how the rapid rate of culture change is producing a future that is difficult to predict. The elders, who historically acted as the stewards of knowledge and tradition, now struggle to cope with the pace of change. Consequently, the advice and wisdom they offer can seem obsolete or irrelevant to the youth's contemporary experience. This transition makes the bridging of the generation gap especially arduous. Young people develop their own subcultures and may view the established societal structures with skepticism or irrelevance. This situation has the potential to result in a lack of continuity as the intergenerational transmission of culture becomes disrupted and disjointed. However, Mead doesn't portray this evolution negatively. Instead, she highlights the adaptability and resilience inherent in this transition, suggesting that prefigurative culture, while disruptive, can foster creativity and innovation. She also acknowledges the challenges it presents, such as managing the inherent conflicts between the generations and projecting a viable path for the future. Mead emphasizes education as a crucial element in navigating societal change. In the past, education was a means of ensuring cultural continuity, but in rapidly changing societies, it must now equip individuals with adaptability and critical thinking skills. Education systems must be overhauled to accommodate the unprecedented conditions that future generations will encounter. In addressing the generational gap, Mead underscores the importance of maintaining a dialogue between the generations. Instead of a one-way transfer of knowledge, there must be reciprocal learning, where each generation appreciates the unique insights and perspectives of the other. By fostering intergenerational communication, society can create a synergistic cultural evolution, combining the old's wisdom with the young's innovation. The concept of commitment within the generations is another theme Mead investigates. She argues that every generation has a trilogy of commitments, to the past, heritage, to the present, 
ongoing cultural patterns, and to the future, adaptation and survival. In post-figurative cultures, commitment to the past is predominant. In co-figurative societies, the present is pivotal. And in prefigurative cultures, there is a strong emphasis on the future. Mead concludes that managing the generational gap requires understanding these varying commitments and negotiating a shared vision for the future. The objective should not be to eliminate the gap, but to utilize it constructively for cultural growth. It necessitates recognizing that the world being built by the younger generation is one in which they will live and that they have the right to shape it according to the realities they perceive. Culture and commitment offers a hopeful outlook on the potential of human societies to adapt to change through the exchange between generations. It urges embracing the generational gap as a driver of cultural evolution and calls for a cooperative approach to shape a society that is resilient, innovative, and respects the collective heritage while moving towards an uncertain yet promising future.